Hi and good day. Look at the damage that texting has done to your neck. The smartphone. All the hours multiplied by days, weeks, and years that you spend in a forward looking down position. That becomes a very serious problem to our neck and our upper shoulder region. It's not only you, but what about your children, your family, your loved ones? Look at the hours that they spend in that forward head position multiplied by all those long hours and imagine what kind of damage it's doing to their spine. Look at the burden of staring at your smartphone. 12 pounds is the normal weight of the head. 15 degrees looking forward, 27 pounds of weight your head is. 30 degrees, 40 pounds, 45 degrees, 49 pounds, and 60 degrees. 60 pounds of stress, the back of those muscles, ligaments, and tendons are trying to hold up the weight of that head. Research shows that the average person is spending two to four hours with their head in a drop down position. That's 700 to 1400 hours of excessive stress you're putting on the neck and the cervical spine. The forward head posture leads to neck pain, pain over the head behind the eyes, headaches, pain into the arm, tingling, numbness, pain between the shoulder blades, pain into the chest region, bulging discs, herniated discs, spondylosis, arthritis, osteoarthritis, degenerative joint disease, and many, many more problems. It's hard to imagine the amount of stress that the muscles and ligaments behind our neck are holding up, trying to withstand the weight of your head going against gravity. Imagine just holding up a bowling ball that weighs eight pounds, holding it up in front of you like this. Imagine after seconds, how much pain and discomfort your shoulder's gonna feel. Early ages of 20, 25, and 30, show significant degeneration, osteoarthritis, extra calcium in the joint, and wear and tear that's going on because of the excessive weakness and instability. The discs in the neck area become more compressed, causing the intervertebral foramen, the holes where the nerves come out of, to become more irritated and inflamed, causing pain and dysfunction. Significant amount of early advanced degenerative changes, osteoarthritis, all this extra calcium being laid in the joints because of this instability. Quite common, the deformation of the anterior forward head posture, how the body compensates as a result of this instability, something that you might have to learn to live with the rest of your life. Pronated shoulders, the shoulders rounding forward due to the anterior stress against gravity as the body starts to change because of this improper posture. Quite common with excessive headaches pulling behind the skull as a result of these muscles that are shortening. Because you're hunched forward, the pronation, the internal rotation of the shoulders limits the ability for you to inspire the full amount of oxygen because your lungs are not fully operable. The forward head posture is causing excessive stretching of the ligaments behind the neck and shoulders. Those ligaments are becoming stretched like a rubber band, therefore not allowing the body to have proper support and stability. It's unrealistic that people will stop using their cell phones. So you need to make a change. If your head is in a forward position, you need to bring the head upwards with your shoulders in line with your ears. You need to bring the phone up to your eyes. You need to tuck the chin in if you're gonna spend a lot of time looking down. So you must learn to take breaks. Prolonged use of these muscles, being over fatigued by the weight of the head will cause this significant rapid degeneration. If you're looking down prolonged periods of time, the muscles are stretching, the muscles are fatiguing, the muscles will spasm and you will have pain and dysfunction. Take time to stretch the neck, pull the head over to one side, pull it over to the other side, Stretch those muscles that are tight. You need to strengthen those core muscles. A weak core will not allow the upper body to stand up and sit up straight. This all has an effect on the muscles of the neck and shoulders. There's a normal cervical lordotic curve in the neck. 
by keeping your head in that forward position, you eventually will lose that normal curve of the neck, causing more instability on the joints and the nerves. Commonly seen a military neck or a kyphotic neck is very common with Tex neck. The nerves that are coming out between the bones of the spine and the cervical or neck region are becoming inflamed and irritated. These nerves affect all cells of the body, the damage that's being caused in your lower neck, that little hump that you're experiencing, that swelling, that discomfort, that pain. When the alignment is off on your automobile, the tires wear out quicker. It's no different when our head is tilted down forward. It's going to lead to herniated discs and disc degeneration. So good posture is not only about standing tall, it's allowing all the organs, tissues, and glands in your body to work at its maximum potential. So be aware of your posture when you're holding your phone. And most important, be aware of your posture when you sit, stand, and even walk. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.